I'm just going to run through the sterilization procedure for sterilizing an NJ Phillips instrument which I have here. I'm following the procedure that's on our website and it is explained under instruction leaflets and information uh, general cleaning and sterilization procedure. The instrument we're using today is a uh, repeater style instrument but the same principles apply for all the applicators. If you have an applicator with a feed tube you would then sterilize the feed tube, the needles and everything. So I'll just run through how this procedure works. The first thing to remember with the applicator is that you will need some string or some wire to suspend the applicator and it is very important that the applicator does not touch the bottom of the pan because the bottom of the pan will burn the instrument. The instrument will get too much heat and that can melt the product. So I've just got a, a wooden spoon which would go through like that and the gun would go into the container. I also have the needles. The needles can go in the water and they can boil as well. The other important thing to remember is with all the NJ Phillips applicators is to put water into the barrel. So put water into the barrel before you sterilize. It's important you do that. If you don't put the water in the barrel, the cylinder can be affected by the steam being caused by the bubbling. So in this instrument, I've got water between the, the O-ring and the front there, and that's all I need to do. So now we suspend that in the pot, put the spoon on it there, So that instrument is now in the pot. So we're going to leave that now to boil for between 10 and 20 minutes. We'll let that boil away and then the applicator will be ready to remove from the water. So you'll need a dry cloth. So we need a dry cloth. So when we pull that instrument up out of there, we can grab hold of the instrument because it'll be very hot. So we'll leave that in the water now to sterilize. Okay, this instrument has been in the water here, it's boiled for about 20 minutes. So when you remove the instrument, remember it's going to be very hot. So I've got a dry cloth, so I pick it up, remove the spoon or the stick, whichever you've got across the pot there, and just carefully, I've expelled all the water. I can then take the, the wire, in this case, off the applicator. I have there. So that's now ready. That applicator, it's been boiled. The needles are in here so I can just drain the water out and get the needles out of the pot and then the whole instrument's ready to take and use. So that's the procedure on how to sterilize the instrument. As I said, it's on our website. So when you're sterilizing, if you have an applicator that uses a feed tube, attach the feed tube to the applicator and then pump some water into the applicator, get the water into the barrel before you start boiling it. There's a picture here that shows you what happens to an applicator if it touches the bottom of the pan. So if it touches the bottom of the pan, that's the hottest area, it will damage the applicator. And then we suspend the instrument, boil it, and then use the cloth to remove it out of the water as I showed you because the instrument's going to be very hot. I hope that's helped explain this sterilizing procedure. Thank you.